Games 311. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? James 3 is a wonderful reminder how no matter where we are in human history, the, the ability to control our tongues has always been a problem. But as I read today's verse, my mind took me to a very, a very different place. What if we looked at the way we behaved and applied the principle of today's verse not just to the way we speak and to our language, but to the way we act and the way we treat others. And you see, I see links between this verse and what we have been talking about in other videos, about how for the last two videos, how if we love Jesus, we would obey him and we would do as he asks. And yet, as I think about it, I'm reminded that, again, we can have the best intentions in mind, but behave atrociously. We are sinful, broken people. And so it's not surprising that sometimes we, we, we don't behave in ways that, that reflect the grace and the mercy and the love that God has demonstrated towards us. But we are still called to live lives. And when we don't, we impact the image that we show the world of God. And then we wonder why we're called hypocrites. Recognizing that we need to change is, is an important first step. Now we need to trust God to make the changes in our lives that will remove the salty water so that everything we say and do will bring life. If you haven't already, we would appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to our videos. That way we can let YouTube know that this is something of value. But the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us now and forevermore. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.